the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Brenda Thompson coming to you today. Today, I greet you in no other name than in Jesus' name. The title of my message to you today is Where is God when it hurts? My message is taken from Job chapter 22, verse 1 to 20. And my reference is Psalms 91 and James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, Can a man be profitable unto God as he that is wise may be profitable unto himself? Is it any pleasure to the Almighty that thou art righteous? Or is it gain to him that thou makest thy ways perfect? Will he reprove thee for fear of thee? Will he enter with thee into judgment? Is not thy wickedness great and thine iniquities infinite? For thou hast taken a pledge from thy brother for naught and stripped the naked of their glory. Thou hast not given water to the weary to drink, and thou hast withholden bread from the hungry. But as for the mighty man, he had the earth, and the honor, and the honorable man dwelt in it. Thou hast sent widows away empty, and the arms of the fatherless have been broken. Therefore snares are round about thee, and sudden fear troubling thee, or darkness that thou canst not see, and abundance of waters covered. Is not God in the height of heaven? And behold the height of the stars, how high they are, and thou sayest, How does God know? Can he judge through the dark cloud? Thick clouds are a covering to him that he seeth not, and he walketh in the circuit of heaven. Hast thou marked the old way which wicked men have traveled, which was cut down out of time whose foundation was overflown with a flood? which said unto God, Depart from us. And what can the Almighty do for them? Yet he filled their houses with good things. But the counsel of the wicked is far from me. The righteous see it and are glad, and the innocent laugh them to scorn. Whereas our substance is not cut up, but the remnant of them, the fire consumes. Please turn with me in your Bibles to Psalms 90. Hallelujah. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by me, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, 
Don't for the destruction that wears them at noon. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy way. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, and the young lion, the dragon, shall thou trample under thee. Because he has set his love upon thee, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on hand. Because he has known my name, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Please stay with me to James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this that the trying of your faith work and patience. But let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Father, I come to you today. In Lord, a name that in Jesus' mighty name. I pray the mighty name of Jesus right now. That the Spirit of the Lord will move in a supernatural way. I pray that this message will be a blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Today I would like to draw your attention to the word assumption, a thing that is accepted as true without proof. That's the meaning of assumption. Job was in a place of severe trials and tribulation, and his friend Eliphaz begun his final and destructive attack on Job, which was just an assumption and not true. In verse 1 to 5, speaks about false accusation by Job's friend, Elijah. What do you do? When you are being falsely accused, stand still. God is in the midst of your trials and tribulation. Just pray and wait on God. In verse 6 to 20, Job, Job's friend Elias continues his listing of false accusations. In verse 6 gives a description of assumption. It may be God is still in the midst if you are going to. A similar effect of false accusation can be found in verse 7. Another assumption of lies. In verse 7, it says, Thou hast not given water to the weary to drink, and thou hast withholden bread from the hungry. Another false assumption. In verse 8, his friend makes a mockery at his dignity. Verse 8 said, But as for the mighty, man. He had the earth and the honorable man dwells in it. Verse 9 is another false assumption. For the reason for Job's trial and testing. In verse 9 it says thou hast sent with 
the arms of the fatherless have been broken. In verse 10 and 11, here we see a consistency of assumptions. It says, Therefore snares are round about thee, and sudden fear troubleth thee, or darkness that thou canst not see, an abundance of waters cover thee. Finally, Elifer's questions drove faith in God. In verse 12 to 40, where is God when it hurts? In verse 15 to 20, Elifer's continues his vicious attack on Job by his continual assumption of Job's faithfulness to a faithful God. In the end, Elifaz was wrong and Job was right. And it was just an assumption. A false accuser with no evidence that his accusation was right. Today, I would like to remind you if you are going through a test or a severe trial. Praise the Lord. And tribulation as Job. Be encouraged. The psalmist said in Psalm 27, verse 13 and 14, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And Revelation chapter 12, verse 10 to 12 says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God. And the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accuse them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testament, and they love not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that his stand is shown. I want to remind God's people that the accuser of our brethren is cast out. Today, I just want to encourage you, whatever trial and tribulations that you are going through, God will see you through in Jesus' name. Today, I would like to pray the blood of Jesus, pray to annihilate, it means to utterly destroy all evil, every weapon, and every weaponry. The blood of Jesus pray for deliverance from all evil. Evil, for the blood of Jesus pray for your marriage, for your health, for your finance, for your neighborhood, for salvation, for your job, and for every other need. Hallelujah. For the blood of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus right now. I plead, I plead, I plead today. The blood of Jesus in the atmosphere. The blood of Jesus against every principality, every power, every throne, and every kingdom. The blood of Jesus upon your marriage, your home, your hope, your peace, your joy, your finance. Whatever trial and tribulation, 
whatever situation and circumstance, I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, or the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, or the blood of Jesus, or the blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus to annihilate every demonic authority, every witch and every wizard. I plead the blood of Jesus for your deliverance, your breakthrough, your victory, your joy and your peace today. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.